Christy Hackler here with a jam-packed edition of Panini Unwrapped, flanked on either side by hockey royalty. I'll start with my right, Carvin Chung, Director of Product Development for Panini America. Then my immediate left is Tim Trout, one of our yeah. fine brand gurus. And then to his left, the tall, the handsome Al Muir. I'm right here. The uh, brand manager for our, our NHL line of products. And we have our newest. NHL product, 2011-12 Panini Crown Royale Hockey. A lot of buzz on the internet, on Twitter, on Facebook about this product. And Carvin, why is there such excitement? Well, Crown Royale is a great brand in Canada, so <clears throat> not only does it go to just hockey cards, but it goes to the ever-elusive Rookie Silhouettes card. Ah. The die-cut prime jersey card, the rookie hard signed, out of 99. It's one of the key elements of this product. That so, that is one of the most attractive card designs, dare I say, in sports history. Close to it. And that's no hyperbole. Al, would you agree with that assessment? Well, well you know, I mean, since I was kind of behind it, I don't want to be, uh, you know, polishing the brass as it were. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great concept. Uh, it turned out really well. And, um, it's back this year, a lot of the same uh, elements that made it so popular last year. But I think we've got an even more exciting group of rookies this year. So people have a chance to pull up something really cool. Larger crop, too. Right. Which uh, means you have a better chance of pulling one. So very cool. And what what are uh, each of these four-pack boxes going to deliver, Carvin, if you don't mind me asking? Well, there's a hit in every pack. Very when nice. I say hit, it's either an autograph or a memorabilia card in every pack. Like this prime Alexander Ovechkin piece right there. That is prime. That's so prime. Now, the hit in my first pack was a Tyler Sagan uh, Heirs to the Throne die cut memorabilia card. And I thought this was a really unique inclusion. It's not all the time, maybe ever, that you see thick die cut cards like this. Nice touch, gentlemen. Here's a great black and white shot. Not auto, not mem, but a really attractive card. Cam Ward here. Love that. Love that. Yes. Yeah, the S Kings, yeah, that's cool. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Is that Tim Thomas? Tim Thomas nice. signature. Nice. Scratching the surface your hero now, signatures. Isn't it, Tim? He is my hero. Now. Scratching the surface signatures. Autograph of Brian Elliott. Brian Getzlaff autograph out of 25. Whoa. Hello. Have we shown the the elegance of the base card? Just I don't the, think you have. I mean, it's a it, mm. it's a timeless look, instantly recognizable to anyone who's been collecting for a number of years. I, to me, that's one of the cool things about it is that you know when you see a Crown Royale card, you know exactly what it is. Yeah. It's uh, it's arguably the most unique base card on the market. No and, question. Uh, to me, that's what makes it so much fun to put together. Looks great in a uh, in a nine pocket sheet. Yeah. Absolutely. Here's a Here's an on-card autograph of one Cam Atkinson. Uh, now, Tim, I, I want to yes. get your I, I want to get you to chime in. This okay. was one of the one of the first products you worked on since coming over um, to Panini America. Yeah, I think so. And what what are your thoughts on the process as a guy who's coming in kind of new <laughs> to the process? It's a lot. It's a lot different than I expected it to be. Yeah. You know, I thought it was going to be simple. You know, pick out some photos, pick out a checklist. And there's a product, yeah. but it's not quite like that at all. <laughs> it's actually far from that. A lot more involved? A lot more. Yeah, there's a lot more that goes into producing trading cards than what I thought was going to be the case. That's a yes. short print right there. They pulled two. It's a short print. Is it now? Short print. That's not a personal yeah. shot. That's He's saying that you pulled it. Here's a, a dual rookie. Private signing. Two rookies in one pack. One Miko Koskinen and great. Show of a towel. That's a no relation to Dick, by the way. No. Yeah. I've, here's a an heirs to the throne premium Blake Jeffreyon out of 50, number seven of 50, it looks like. And Carvin, what is your, what is the most uh, spectacular aspect of the product in your opinion this year? Well, I think it's it's always going back to the die cut technology. I mean, that is what is unique to this brand. And building on that heritage, of course, the rookie silhouettes is the most unique rookie card 
that was delivered last year and continues to be so this year. Okay. So I think um, people are going to be chasing after the Ryan Nugent Hopkins, the Gabriel Landeskog, and uh, that's what's going to drive this product along with just the unique look of these cards. There's no other card like it in the marketplace. Okay. Keep in mind, too, that there's a lot of guys who might not be tearing it up right now, but, but have really strong long-term potential. You know, guys like Adam Henrique, who actually is playing very well right now. Uh, Ryan Johansson in Columbus, and of course, because he's a Blue Jacket, he gets those great-looking swatches. Uh, and I'm a fan of Ryan Ellis, too. I think Ryan Ellis can be a, a very special player. So keep an eye on guys that uh, have real long-term potential, because there's a bunch in this product. And then... Tim, final question for you. Of course. As a guy who was at Beckett, who <laughs> saw this product come out last year and had the the uh, the uh, chore to, to price it and catalog it, how do, how does this year's installment compare to last year's? Um, I think it's a you know it's it's got a lot of the same you know elements to it, but it also has the uh, the uh, veterans in the silhouettes as well, mm -hmm. which is something new. And I think that's going to be a big player. Stronger than last year? Stronger than last year. Stronger than last year. Well, I think uh, our hockey team is stronger than ever. And uh, Carvin, thank you. Tim, thank you. Alan, thank you. Tracy, thank you. You're Good welcome. And thank you, because without you, none of this is possible. We love you. Thanks for watching. Look to win some of these cards, maybe all of them, at some point soon. That's uh, another edition of Panini Unwrapped, and we are out of here, and we love you. Uh,